Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you my main speed cubes. I'm an all-rounder, so I do all 17 events, and I'll be showing you all 17 puzzles that I use for each of those events. Starting with 3x3, I use the MoYu RS3M V5 with ball core and UV. At home, I like to use the Magla version, which is the version that you can just buy. But in competition, I like to use a spring modded version, where you take out the maglev and replace it with springs. I find that the springs make the cube a little bit more controllable, which is very useful in a competition setting. The performance of both the maglev version and the spring version is really good. I tend to like MoYu cubes and I like their turning feel, and I think the RS3M V5 has one of the best performances out of any MoYu cube. It's also only $25 for the ball core UV version, which is super nice, and if you want to spring mod it, it's only like a few dollars extra. Moving on to 2x2, I use the GAN 251M Pro. This cube is the top choice for many world-class solvers, and I can definitely see why. The turning is extremely smooth and fluid, and it's super fun to solve on. It also has a very satisfying turning feel, and extremely good performance. I got this cube pretty recently, so I haven't been able to try it out in comp yet, but from what I've seen, it's really good, and I'm pretty excited to try this out in competition and see how it goes. For 4x4, I used the VIN 4x4 non-UV coated. I heard this cube was really good, so I decided to get one and try it out, and it actually is really good. I'm honestly very pleasantly surprised with how well this performs. It's pretty similar to an MGC 4x4, but the magnets are lighter and the turning is a little bit smoother. To me, this is the ideal 4x4 because the MGC4 felt a little bit heavy and blocky and too hard to turn. This cube also has the best performance of any 4x4 that I've seen. The turning is great, the corner cutting is really good, and overall I can get very fast times on this cube and it's very fun to solve on. Before I got the VIN 4x4, I used to use the X-Men Ambition. It's not a very popular choice because the corner cutting isn't super good, but I've broken mine in enough to where it has a very good performance, and honestly it is pretty decent. However, I find that the VIN is better. For 5x5, I main the X-Men Hong. There's a couple flagship 5x5s on the market right now, being the Valk 5, the Moyu Aochuang, this one, the X-Men Hong, and the Gan 5x5. I've tried all of those cubes and I found this one to be the best. It's very stable, it has a ball core, and you can get some really nice turning on it. It's pretty fun to solve on, and I think it has a good balance between speed and stability. I used this cube to drop my official PR single from a 56 to a 49, and my PR average from a 102 to a 58, so this cube is extremely good, and it works very well in competition. For 6x6, I used the Moyu Aoshi WRM. This is by far the best 6x6 on the market, and there's really no other cubes that come close to it. Pretty much everyone uses this cube, and for good reason. The performance is great, it's honestly very enjoyable to solve on, and you can't really get any other cube that turns as well as this one does. For 7x7, I use the Moyu Aofu WRM. Again, this is probably by far the most dominant 7x7 on, on the market. There is also the MGC7, which is a very good cube as well, especially at a more budget price, but I think most people agree that the Aofu WRM is significantly better. I've been maining this ever since it came out, and I've been able to get all my PRs on it. For 3x3 blindfolded, I use the GTS 3M. It's a pretty old cube, but a lot of world-class blind solvers use this cube because of the good slices. Even though this cube is several years old, the slices I think are better than that of any other cube, even those released more recently. And I can get some of my best 3-style turning on this cube. A decent alternative to the GTS 3M is the Moyu YS3M ball core. That one is pretty good, but the slices I find are a little bit harder to turn than these slices, so I prefer to use this cube. For 3x3 one-handed, I use the RS3M V5 ball core UV with maglev. I found that this cube works super well for me for one-handed turning, and I was able to drop my PR in competition by over 2 seconds just by switching to this cube. I know this cube is also very popular for one-handed and a lot of people use it, which makes sense because it has really good turning. For clock, I used this thing. It's just a Qi clock, but with a wooden casing on the outside. It's the only Qi clock that I have, so I'm pretty much forced to use it. I don't really care too much about clock, and I'm not very fast at it, so I can just use whatever and not really care. For Megaminx, I used the YJ Yuhu V2M. I've maintained this cube for like three years, and it's been very consistent for me. 
I've been able to get very nice PRs on this cube of a 34 single and a 38 average, which are both very good for me. The size is pretty big, so if you have smaller hands, I would probably recommend getting the Diane Pro instead, but for me this works super well. I am getting a GAN V2 Megaminx pretty soon, so I'm excited to try that out and see how it is. It might replace this as being my main, but for now, this is currently my main. Even though this cube is only $13, the performance is the same as a flagship cube. You can get some extremely good turning on this, and I find that it turns more consistently than other Megaminxes like the Diane, and it's better to use in competition, at least for me. For Pyraminx, I use the Bell V1. This is a super old cube from like 2017, but I find that it still turns pretty well, and I still use it. I know a lot of people use like the Waylong instead. I've tried a Waylong and I don't really like it that much, so I just use this cube instead. I'm not that fast at Pyraminx, so it really doesn't matter. But if you are like more serious about Pyraminx, I would recommend getting the Waylong instead. I'm pretty sure most people use that. But even though this cube is a lot older, it still has pretty decent performance. I don't think you can actually buy this anymore because it's been discontinued everywhere. But yeah, it's fine for what it is. For Skube, I use the GAN Skube Enhanced. I'm terrible at Skube. It's my worst ranked event by far and I average like 7 seconds. But the reason I have the GAN Skube is because at one point I actually wanted to get into Skube to improve my sum of ranks. So I got this flagship cube and I realized that like I really didn't like this event so I stopped practicing. But yeah, pretty much every world class solver uses the GAN Enhanced so I guess I would recommend it, even though I am slow and I don't really have a valid opinion about skew. For Square 1, I use the YJMGC. Pretty much every Square 1 solver uses this cube because it's the best one on the market, and there aren't really any alternatives. You could use like the Volt V2, but that one's definitely not as good as the MGC. For 4x4 blindfolded and 5x5 blindfolded, I just use the MGC4 and the MGC5. I'm not fast enough at big blind for the hardware to really matter that much, and these are the only two cubes that I have that don't have logos, so they are legal for blind. So that's it, those are all of my main speed cubes. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.